Welcome to the dedication of the I Love You sculpture created by the renowned artist Bob Toster with the help of students from the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind and citizens of South Carolina. My name is Sam Hook and I serve as Executive Director of the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind Foundation. We're so happy you joined us today for this installation. We, you, we, you honor us with your presence as we come from different parts of the state of South Carolina to its capital to install this beautiful and meaningful artwork. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Um, also, I need to thank a couple of people um, first. Definitely uh, Mayor Benjamin and the City of Columbia for working with us on this project, um, for saying yes to it. Um, the SCSDB board, thank you for support. And our president, Dr. McCraw, who always says yes you know, you know, when these ideas are presented to her. And I explain them because you know this had to be explained to our president before <laughs> it was created. So in my mind, I kind of had an idea of what the students told me what they wanted to do, but to explain it, um, well, we have an artist named Bob Doster. He's going to come on campus, and he's going to guide the students, and they're going to trace their hands, and then they're going to cut their hands out. And she said, "Well, how are they going to cut their hands?" I was like, "Well, not with scissors, um, but with the torch." But Bob's been doing this for a long, long time. <laughs> it's completely safe. Um, and we were there the whole time, and, uh, but you know, the students had a wonderful learning experience with this project. And um, but things like that, Dr. McCraw supports arts education at SESDB, so, um, in all our areas. So we really appreciate her. Um, also, the people who actually helped make this happen was the foundation, SESDB Foundation, along with the South Carolina Arts Commission and an Arts and Basic Curriculum Project. They are the ones who actually funded this project to bring Bob with us. And that's actually how I got a relationship with Bob, is through the Arts and Basic Curriculum Project. Now the design, this happened several years ago, probably about two, two years ago, maybe three years ago, when we met with some students, we kind of explained what we wanted to do, an art project with a metal artist, and so we come up with a couple of different designs. Um, this was what we finalized with, because we wanted something that would bring community members in and unite with our students, staff, and just something that we could all do together. And then also that represents SDSDB. I think they did a wonderful job coming up with the final project. So we really uh, appreciate that. You know, the South Carolina profile of the graduate kind of drives education in South Carolina. And a couple of words you'll see on this profile are innovation, creativity, collaboration, and that's what students have to have to work in this time that we're in. And so really when you focus on the sculpture, you can really see that's the example. Because this is the result, but the, the magic of the education was the process of creating it and how it connects one another. So um, that's what the arts does. It, it mainly it engages the students and it connects people. And when it comes with it, from a place of love, as you can see here, that symbolizes all over South Carolina, I think some great things can happen. So uh, I just want to thank you all for coming. Thank you for your support. On behalf of the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind and the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind Foundation, it is my pleasure to gift this sculpture to the City of Columbia. We are so pleased to have the honor to place this piece of student artwork here in the middle of Columbia, the home of our outreach office here for the Midlands. Uh, it is truly a, a testament of, of your support for children with disabilities here in South Carolina for those with sensory disabilities. So it is our pleasure to gift this to you. Thank you for allowing us to make a difference for children in South Carolina. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for being here uh, this morning. Um, for some of you who are in the, in the upstate, uh, the weather's like this in Columbia every day. It, it, it's, <laughs> We just call ourselves famously hot. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's always beautiful. I will say um, uh, this is a very special day. I, I'm thinking, trying to think about when the, I first heard about uh, this incredible uh, sculpture. It may have been my friend Hope Blackley maybe calling uh, to tell me that the idea had been floated about of having one here in in Columbia, and uh, we need to call together a, a, a meeting. Well, I will tell you once I finally had a chance to visualize how incredibly special uh, this piece of art is, uh, Mr. Doster. Uh, I've been looking forward to this day, um, very much so looking forward to this day. Uh, many of you know the history of, of this, this, this great city 
uh, formed at the, uh, the formation of the, of the Congaree River by the Broad and Saluda Rivers here. Um, uh, uh, when they were discussing what the name of this city would be, uh, the, the landed gentry in Charleston and the, and the growing businessmen in the upstate uh, all uh, had their ideas. Someone actually suggested we call it refuge because it was in the middle of nowhere in 1786. Uh, it was then that Senator John Lewis Gervais of, of, of Abbeville uh, said that he hoped that the oppressed of all lands might find refuge under the wings of Columbia. He hoped that the oppressed of all lands might find refuge under the wings of, of, of Columbia. Indeed, at the birth of this great nation, uh, even with the challenges we faced as a, as a country then, we were thinking about the spirit of inclusion, the spirit of, of, of the fact that in this city, everyone would be able to live up to their God-given potential. We recognize that, that ability, that genius, knows no zip code or, 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 or disability, the only opportunity does. And, and, uh, and, and the opportunities afforded uh, by the Sacramento School for the Deaf and Blind and the foundation that supports your work and all your wonderful individuals. It's, a, it's an honor uh, for us to have this sculpture in the middle of our, our, our vista area, um, close enough that our incredible state legislators can, can, can see it uh, from the state <laughs> capitol as they come down here. And, 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 and it speaks as, it stands as a testament uh, to exactly not only who we are, but who we aspire to, to be in this great city and this great state indeed at the heart of the uh, greatest democratic nation in the history of the, of the world. Uh, uh, I do want to say, Dr. McCarr, thank you uh, for your leadership uh, and, um, and all the work that you do as, as, as president. I do also want to thank uh, Lee Snellgrove and the folks at, at One Columbia for, uh, he's been leading our public art initiatives uh, over the last several years and doing a fantastic job here in the Midlands. I have to thank our, our, our city staff, uh, you know, we politicians get we get ideas, uh, but we don't have to actually execute on any of them. Uh, so I see Calvin. I'm not sure. I see Lucinda. I, I don't see uh, Krista. But but some of the folks uh, we reached out to. So we, we got to make this happen, and they made sure that we were actually doing all the blocking and tackling to actually make it uh, happen to deliver on this. So I really want to thank our staff who make um, uh, make the city special. And again, um, um, Mr. Doster. Um, Thank you for, for, for your gift and sharing your gifts. Um, uh, my, I have one child who's a, who's a budding artist, uh, so I, I am in love with art and envious of artists as well. And to, um, to not think it robbery to share your gifts with the rest of the world. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Well, hello, good morning. I grew up in Charleston, but Columbia, will always be, for me, a memory of where I found my identity. My parents came to Columbia for a workshop entitled, How to Raise Deaf Children. They came for that workshop and learned some basic signs. They came to me in the room with the other children and they told me that I was deaf, they signed deaf and they signed that they were hearing. They signed that my brother was also deaf. And so I would name all the friends, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, and I gave them all of the names and said, are they deaf or hearing? And what I found was that we were, my brother and I were the only two who were deaf. And so this is where I found my deaf identity. When I got back to, uh, to Charleston, I asked about all of those people as well to find out if they were deaf or hearing, and none of them were deaf either. So. This is a wonderful place, I believe, to have this statue set here in Columbia where I found my deaf identity. The symbol I love you is a symbol of total equal access. At the School for the Deaf, um, you know that many people look at the deaf school as a special school or a special education school. It is not that. In the eyes of deaf children, this is a school where they have equal access, just like hearing children going to a public school have equal access. It is a direct parallel. There's language accessibility in each of those places, communication access, and access to different technology. The children of the deaf school get that through sign language, through the accessible technology, just as hearing children would get it in a regular public school, auditorially or through spoken English. When you see this symbol, 
you can look at this and realize that this means language without barriers, complete access. Educators at the deaf school teach students in American Sign Language, ASL. Some students require more one-on-one -on -one direct attention, but and then you know you have that ability that the students have to communicate with one another in ASL as well. When you talk about staff in the cafeteria, they sign also to the students. Our dorm staff signs. Some of them also use spoken language as well with some of the students as need arises. So as you see this symbol, you'll know that this I love you handshake, you'll remember that it means full language access. Even hearing people that don't know any sign language at all, they might be familiar with this symbol, this I love you symbol. You know hearing children will use it with their hearing parents, the I love you symbol. You've seen that before. But now, I'm gonna teach you a little something. <laughs> this I love you symbol. The I, this handshake, is the letter I, standing for I. That's the letter L for love, and Y meaning you. I, L, Y, I love you. So now you'll know when you see that. Thank you so much. Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. Thanks again, and remember, we are Columbia.